Hello, I'm Hugo from StarCraft. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use and install the post processors for the version 11 of the Vectrix software. So a quick explanation about the post processors is that why you need a post processor? The CNC is uh, managed by a control software. <clears throat> this control software, we the, the one that we use, it uses CNC. And the way that the UCCNC controls the machine, it's uh, manually, that you can move the machine up, down, left, left right, uh, with the controllers, or with a G code. The G code, it's a series of instructions that tell the machine how to move and uh, where to move, the distance that need to move, and the speed uh, that is going to move. So the G codes, the G codes are generated by the software so, for example, in this case that uh, we have, let's say, um, some uh, toolpaths that we generate and the settings that we made about the end mill, the, the diameter and uh, where to cut and all that. And when, do, when you save and you want to save this um, G code, you need to use the post processor. The post processor is the... Um, uh, the kind of a language that the machine is going to use uh, to interpret that. Because the G code is some kind of a universal for all, all CNCs, but it is, it's special for each model of CNC. So that's why you need a post processor for a different machines, because uh, the machine can, can need a special instructions to make it work. Um, and that's why you need to use the post processors and the correct post processor for your machine. Um, on this case, all the Stepcraft machines can use the Stepcraft post processors, uh, <clears throat> depending on the job that you want to use. And when you save the uh, the files, you have the instructions that will make the machine moves and make these. A toolpath that you generate with the software. That's why it's important to have the correct post processors uh, to use the machine. In this case, I'm going to use Aspire to show you how to do it. And um, you need the multi installer. So let's start. First, uh, you can have the Aspire is, uh, already installed on your computer or a uh, you can install first the the multi installer that have the post processors. It uh, it doesn't matter which one goes goes first. Uh, you can configure the post processors uh, on this version of the software. Either way, so the what happened here is that the new version of Aspire. I'm going to install first the uh, the multi installer. The new version of Aspire have a new way to handle the post processors that it's uh, by machine. So you can have different machines configurations with the same software with different post processors. So that's the the new thing on Aspire. And therefore you need to configure your machine first to use it. So first I'm going to install the um, software. Uh, let's say that I want to use the M series. Uh, I need to install the UCC and C, and then and then after the UCC, copy the license. I already have it, uh, so I'm going to click next. Then I need to select which uh, machine model I want. I have the M1000. Let's say uh, I already have it installed, so I can skip this part if I want. Uh, but let's say that I want to install the um, M1000. I'm going to select the general use profile. Click next. Then here it's the part where you install the post processors. So you need to select which version of the software um, you have. This video only applies for version 11 because version 10.5 10 don't have these options that I want to show you. Uh, okay, in this case, I'm going to use Aspar. Uh, version 11, put the other versions, bcarb or uh, Q2D, it's uh, the same procedure. 
Okay, I'm going to install this version. I don't need Cura because this is only for the 3D printer. Click next. This is for having some examples and documentation. Click next. Install. Okay, right now it's installing the um, screen set. Um, after installing the screen set, it's going to install <coughs> the post processors on the correct folder for the Aspire element. Okay, click exit, and then I need to install Aspire. So after installing Aspire, you're going to see a screen uh, where you, if you, I don't need this one, I already have it. If you already um, have a previous version of the software, when you install a new version, you can um, um, copy or import the um, tool database, the post processors, and uh, several other settings from a previous installation that uh, you may have on, the, on your machine. I'm going to skip those parts and use only the the standard uh, installation so you can see it and you can see the um, the configuration without copying anything from uh, from a previous version okay i'm going to skip uh, these parts because it installs some windows libraries okay after it finish it tell me to run aspire I'm gonna Finish, run Aspire. Okay, this is the window that I mentioned you. <clears throat> um, because I already have this version of Aspire installed on my machine, I can copy the tool database, uh, <clears throat> the new, uh, well, my post processor that I already have uh, on this version. Uh, if this is your case, you can migrate the system and it will copy everything to the new configuration. Let's say. I don't have anything, so I cannot copy anything, and I click close. Uh, here you need to connect your uh, account on Vectric. Um, I'm going to skip this. And here you can um, search for your machine configuration. Uh, it, it wants to load the, the configuration. So for example, I have the Stepcraft uh, definitions for the machine. Let's say I have the M and I want the UCC and SIM. So I click download. It downloads the configuration of the machine. Let's say that we go, we want to configure it everything manually. So uh, I like to show you that first. Uh, I click on next here, and I'm going to add a machine. If you see, we can select new machine here, and the name is going to be the Stepcraft M1000. The manufacturer is Stepcraft. The model is M1000. Controller, it's UCC and SIM. UCM, CNC. And the size of the machine, you can see that, uh, for example, here, this image, you can see it on this uh, website, stepcraft.us slash M. Um, let's say they have, I want the M1000. You can see also, for example, the DC resizes. Uh, so you know what's the, the size of uh, your machine. It's the working space, the one that you need to use on this on this configuration. So the width is 26.75, height is 41.1. And this is going to be on inches. And the important part is this one, the post processors. Uh, Vectric by default have its own post processors. Uh, but we recommend you to use the ones that we provide with the installer because they are designed especially for your machine. So when you install the post processors uh, and you click on, on this sign, the plus sign, you will have 
these post processors. These are the ones that you need to install uh, to use the StepCraft. If you download the configuration from Vectric site and everything, you will install Vectric own post processors that are these ones. And uh, they work, but uh, it's much better if you install these post processors. For example, this one, it's the standard post processor that doesn't use the automatic tool changer and it doesn't have the instructions for the automatic tool changer. So if you are going to use, for example, a single tool job with the automatic tool changer, you can use this one. Um, if you have the automatic tool changer, you can use, you have to use this one uh, for a multiple tool jobs. This is to use the laser, uh, the DL445, and this is designed to use um, an end mill as as the laser beam. Uh, so you can follow the tutorial videos that we have on on the Stepcraft uh, channel on YouTube to show you how to set up these and uh, the instructions to make it work. This is the uh, the four axis wrapping uh, for the laser post processor. And these two are for the wrapping for the four axis on the Y and the X axis for the uh, milling with the step graph. So if I want to select all of these, I click on this one and then shift on the last one. I have all selected and click here. So now I have all the post processors here on my machine configuration and I simply press OK. OK, now I finish my installation and let's create something quickly so you can see the, um, the post processors. I press calculate, uh, close, I could say my toolpath. And here I have my machines. Of course, I have the M1000. This is the one that I create. And here I have my Stepcraft post processors. So I'm going to click on the first one, that for milling, save toolpath, and then I can save the, the G code. So basically that's how you um, install the, the post processors from zero. Let's say that uh, you already have installed the, the uh, software you want to install these post processors. So install the multi-installer uh, install the post processor with the multi installer. You see that you can skip the um, the profiles and you can skip the software and only install the post processors alone. And then to inst to set up these post processors here, you need to define your machine. So you have to click here, and again you can create a new machine from scratch. If you click on this one, uh, sorry, on this one you can add a custom machine and create a new one. Uh, set up the definitions of the machine, the size, and the post processors. If you install the post processors with the um, multi installer, you will see them here on top of the list. That's important. Okay, so um, basically that's the video. If you want uh, any more help, you can write us to support at stepcraft.us. If you have any questions or any comments about uh, this information, if you like. And I see you on the next video. Have fun.